What's up, dirty plant hoes and all you dirty plant enthusiasts out there? It is I, Rachel, your plant madam. And today we are going to be doing an unboxing and it is a special unboxing today because the Begonia Madam Rachel has arrived from at Silver Plant Daddy on Instagram. You may know him as Darren Heppel, the former operations manager at Steve's Leaves. And I am filming today in my plant room that I have stolen the club chair, sorry Winston, and planted it in here. And I have basically lived in here ever since. I've got a comfy blanket over my lap. I've got several boxes. One is from Will, one of my dirty plant hoes, and one is from Mountain Orchids. So, so we're just gonna chill out in the plant room together and open some boxes. This is a super adorable little um, letter with some seeds in it that I got from Lindsay and her name is at Wild Mountain Rose and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna open this one on a members only video. So be looking out for that if you are a member of this channel because I have a feeling she sent several different varieties and it'll take me a minute to go through those. But you should definitely check her out on Instagram. We have been chatting together on Instagram there for shit two years now at this point damn forever dude i've got some instagram homies i've been knowing for a long time now casey's going through some serious shit at work i can't really divulge like what's going on but he's going through some struggles right now so he's not filming with me he's actually in the other room so if you hear him at some point bellowing it's because he's on work calls a teenager shows up every single time I try to film. It doesn't matter what time it is. Damn. Filming is embarrassing. <laughs> but when a teenager walks through when you're filming, it's a, a whole new level of embarrassment. Okay, so this first one is from Darren at Delirium Studios. Go check out all his creepy creations. I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna go. Throw paper over here to the side now. He called me yesterday and we were chatting for a while and he said that he sent the Begonia Madam Rachel so that I can do a giveaway for my dirty plant hose. And uh, I thought that is an excellent idea and I think that's wonderful. Oh man, I'm so excited. Now I've been knowing about this for like a long time, like a lot longer than you guys have been knowing about it. And uh, it just kind of like recently came to fruition. So, oh, look at this packaging. Looks so good. Okay. So the last one I did of these, I opened it on an IGTV and I'm glad I'm actually filming this one because, oh, I can see it through the floof. You see how good the packaging is? First, there was like the plastic. Oh. Well, she's absolutely gorgeous. Wow. I totes my goats underestimated how big the pink blotches are on this thing. It is insane. I think what I was expecting was more along the lines of like the begonia uh, amphioxus because the parent plants for this are the begonia amphioxus and the begonia malachostica. So Absolutely gorgeous. This one is called the Begonia Madam Rachel. This is her debut. She's gonna get a super, super cute pot. You gotta come through here. Nope. I'm filming, bub. Anybody gotta finish that bacon? Uh, don't eat all of it, okay. Well, kind of because like maybe we can make some BLTs later or something. Don't just eat like a pound of bacon by yourself. Okay? So, like you can have some, but don't eat like all of it. 
so that is Begonia Madam Rachel. I was asking myself, why don't I film in here more? And then I was like, just now realizing that, oh yeah, it's because everybody comes upstairs. I remember now. Okay. Second one, same story. Really, really good packaging. He's got the little choppy sticks to make sure that it doesn't get crushed. A little bit of masking tape. Masking tape is really good to use when you're shipping plants because it's not as intense as the shipping tape. The shipping tape I use is really intense, but it works well on the bubble paper. Ooh, this was one I did not know was coming. Oh, I wonder which this one is. I'm not sure. It's another lovely little baby. I cannot tell at all what is picking up on the camera. So there is a bunch of stuff in here. I am spoiled. Rotten. I've been having such a good day today. Um, I woke up early. <clears throat> My back was hurting and stuff just from sleeping. But other than that, I got up. I enjoyed my cup of coffee. I made bacon and biscuits and gravy and fried eggs and all that for like a, br a brunch type of situation. So this is like shaping up to be a pretty awesome day. If you ask me, I will have to message him and be like, who dis? Because I do not know. One of these is another uh, Madam Rachel. Ooh, what the hell? Whoa, is this another variant? of the cross? Or is this something completely different? I am tripping. Check that out. That is wild. It's got the serrated edges on the leaves. It looks completely different than the other one. It can't be the same thing. It's gotta be something completely different. It's gotta be something different. Did he put a... No, I don't think he put a card in here because he messaged me and said he didn't put a card in here. So this is going to be a, an excellent, this is going to be a gigantic begonia haul because damn, the all these cute begonias plus all the ones that I'm about to open from Mountain Orchids because I have not seen a Mountain Orchids restock in quite some time. So... Whenever uh, Thoughtful Melon on Instagram told me to run over, oh, oh, told me to run over and hit that restock, I hit that restock. So, makes for excellent <laughs> reveals. What is this? Is this another one? <gasps> I am like perplexed right now. The, the sphagnum moss is perfect. Are these all, is this? Whoa. This one is gorgeous. Oh my God, this one like pink all over. And the splotchities look different and weird. I don't know you guys, my leg's going dead though. Okay, got one more, and that is Floof. So I'm wondering, is this next one going to be another one, another, like, variant of the same thing? Oh, my God, the blood's rushing back in my foot. The tingles are really intense. This one doesn't look the same. Oh, this is 
is not the same. Oh, the silver cloud. Oh, it's not a majestic. I don't know what it is. Oh my gosh, it is so cute. This is like a huge bonus, man. This looks like a bipinatifida and a Madame Rachel had sex. And this one, this one looks like almost like a Darth Vader Rihanna and a Madame Rachel had sex. I don't know, it's too much. I, I'm also the favorite grandchild now, so if any of you other grandchildren are listening, Misty, Mandy, Stevie, David, Malia, if any of you are listening, those were freaking adorable. Thank you so much, Darren. I freaking love them. Love it, love it, love it. So next up, we're gonna do the box from Mountain Orchids. And where did I set my knife? I shut it this time. I put it in my lap, but I shut it. I don't know why it says 3 p.m. on here. Such a trip. I'm not even 100%, oh yeah. I was about to say I can't remember exactly what I ordered, but I do remember exactly what I ordered because I have been on the hunt for the begonia. You, is it U664? My phone is underneath a bunch of shit. I'm pretty sure it's the U664. It's like the all silvery begonia. Forever. If you guys go back and watch my plant wish list video from like, I don't know, the beginning of time, I uh, put it on there and it's a pretty elusive begonia. I actually had one sent to me as a little bitty beady baby and I just couldn't keep it alive. I tried really hard and I was pretty heartbroken when it died, but it died. Okay. Yes, <clears throat> it is begonia U664. And then I got three other begonias. It was not a cheap order, that's for sure. But hey, I've got a giant dragon house terrarium that I have to fill up. I liked it. Someone gave me a suggestion on the last video. They left a comment and they said that the all green begonia that I had in one of my bubbles, which I think is the Stouty Eye X Microsperma that they were talking about, would look great in there because it would be like an all green contrast to like other really bright begonias. And I thought that was a really good idea. So you guys know Mountain Orchids and now Darren are the only two people that I uh, think that really ship begonias well oh my god it's so pretty oh my gosh it's no madam rachel but it's pretty <laughs> oh man i want to move this over Somewhere. My camera's about to run out of space. Okay, I'm just gonna have to pick something up. Bruh. I feel like I'm pulling out like a clown hanky right now. This just keeps, oh, just keeps coming. This one looks stressed. Not really. Just like funky. Oh. This one is really pretty. Begonia Qui. Now, I'm gonna have to show you because I can already tell the lighting is gonna be a real bitch in here, but this begonia has also been on my wish list for a really, really, really long time. I ordered it from, was it New Life Tropicals? One of the import places um, overseas and it was one of the orders where I made an order and then the order just never came. Like they took my money and they just never sent me plants. So yeah, 
that hasn't happened a lot lately. Um, none of the places that I've done hauls from or anything like that, obviously, because they actually mailed me those. But this actually is really, really, really hairy and resembles the Begonia Versicolor a lot. Looking at it up close, but this one is a really interesting, the way that it's presenting right now, I would have never guessed that it would look like this. I'm gonna show you guys a picture over in the corner of what I'm familiar with what the Begonia Cui usually looks like and if I'm saying that wrong my bad but you know what can I say but I can kind of see the um the design in the leaf pattern right now especially on this one. Oh, bitch you better not way too expensive um this one that's actually a little more faded down here at the bottom you can see like the pattern kind of a little bit under there but very very cute very very cute i'll sit this back here okay so that is the begonia qui okay big big wish list begonia for a long time and then we have let me pull out the big daddy -o. is this even it oh my god you guys i am confused I'm confused at what the hell is happening right now. Uh, it's all connected, bro. And if I start yanking, okay. I'll just set you to the side because I have clearly no idea what's happening in here. Now it's coming, okay. These big ass, ass, ass leaves were holding everything down and I kept thinking, I was like, what the hell? There was a whole nother leaf down there. Wow. Check that out. This is called Begonia variegata. And that is about the size of the palm of my hand. This one as well. They are freaking huge. So this one I've been seeing around inside the Begonia groups and just like all over Begonia websites for a really long time. And it's really kind of hard to get a hold of one. So this is Begonia Variegata. That looks cute. Okay. Then we have, what was the, oh yeah, the first one was the Cui. And the Begonia Variegata. And then this one, which I think will be a favorite of the goth people and also some of the male energy. Oh no, we lost the leaf. Okay, so with the more like masculine energy people, I think you're gonna like this one a lot. This is called Begonia Moyesii. It has really intense texture, a lot like the Begonia Milana Bellata, but it does not have the Hershey's Kisses on it. It's just an extreme texture. Comes out in like a, um, like a rusty orange looking color. This looks straight out of Jurassic Park. Check out that little one. Very, very, very cool. Kind of like uh, dinosaur kale, things like that. This is a really, really, really cool begonia. I love it. I've got the uh, Milana Bellata, the Mountain of Formis, which has got like lots and lots of black um, Hershey's Kisses on top. And then this one almost looks like a just shaved uh, ordeal. Very cool. What does it make me think of? It just makes me think of the land before time. Just the movie land before time is what I see when I look at that. Set you over here. And then we got the last but not least, the most coveted begonia. The begonia that made the restock order happen. What a beauty. 
And that is the Begonia U664. How can I get you guys to see the beauty? Oh my God, it's so gorgeous. You lay that little leaf down. Wow. This U664 was when I watched the American Begonia Society when I went to the little meeting that they had uh, online. And Darren um, was talking about some of the hybridizing that they had been doing at Steve's Leaves. And I'm pretty sure that the U664 was what they used in a lot of their hybridizing that created like that silver, like tons of silver variegation in their plants and stuff like that. Wow. The silver is so palpable, you guys. It is straight up glitter. It really is glittery. It's kind of nice when you can't find plants that you're after right away. It's kind of nice because then you actually have a moment to pine over them for a while and um, like get your space ready and get like all your stuff ready. Like I have the terrarium ready and I also have begonia bubbles ready to go for all the little Madam Rachels and things like that. So I will text him and ask him um, what the specifics are on those begonias. And then in my next video, since I'm trying to do more um, chill videos here lately, I'm trying not to put a lot of pressure on me I'm trying not, not to put a lot of pressure on you guys, you know, just real chill vibes, you know? So I'll just try to put it like on the screen next time around what he said about the Begonia Madam Rachels. So that's pretty exciting. I'm gonna throw this box and freak these dogs out. Sorry guys. Okay, and then we have one more box. And that is from Mr. Will Hallstrom, and he is one of my dirty plant hoes. And when he mailed this to me, it went to the post office, and I think Casey fibbed about going to the post office on Friday um, because Will was like, no, it's at the post office. And I was like, babe, they said something's at the post office, but he's been trying to make it his thing to like go pick up stuff or whatever for me. So this is the box from Will and I can see that there's a little card right here. Let me toss this. That won't come off without like me severely cutting it. To the plant madam herself, Rachel from Will Hallstrom, DPH. And don't forget, um, I'm gonna open the envelope from Wild Mountain Rose uh, for a members only video that I will be filming right after this. Ooh, that's cool. That looks so neat. Rachel, I just wanted to send this little care package from Vermont. Due to the crazy weather we have been experiencing lately, I have not included a live plant. This box supported some amazing creators. May, who with her mom's assistance made the mask. She is also a huge fan of yours. Uphill Pottery, UT, makers of awesome stoneware. And my family sugaring operation and my family sugaring operation. After you and Casey got COVID, I felt like an ass trying to send the mask. <laughs> yes, I have waited that long, but screw it. I cannot afford an elbow of any kind. So enjoy the one on your mask. Oh, I believe the white mask goes under the black one for protection's sake. That is so sweet. Your channel personality and banter with Casey, Cletus, has brought more light to my life than a south-facing window. Each week, I look forward to hearing the podcast and watching your videos. And don't get me started about purge nights. I would not change a thing about 
the amazing community you have created with HSL, it is perfection. Coincidentally, if I had found fault, your take no prisoners attitude, which I have learned so much from, would not let that get you down. Keep on being you. I hope you and Cletus are doing well and that you get to your someday soon. Oh, Will, that's so sweet. Thank you. Okay, I gotta keep this out so I can tell you guys who this stuff was made from. Okay, so the masks are made from May, May NG, who with her mom's assistance made the mask. Oh my gosh, these are handmade. Oh my gosh. I hope that someday that these masks, wow, you can feel the quality in this. Oh, it's like in a little sealed up bag and everything. Oh, wow. It goes right side up. What do you think? I think it's beautiful. Thank you so much. Handmade. I'm in hog heaven with this handmade stuff you guys don't even understand. Filming in this chair was a bad decision for a minute, but now it's coming back around to being a good decision again because damn, this is way more comfortable. Vermont. Gee, did he say that his, fa that his family made this stuff? Pure Vermont maple syrup. The world's best all-natural sweetener. He said that in my, f my family's sugaring operation. So this has got to be his family's sugaring operation. Oh my gosh. Oh, pure maple syrup for use on pancakes, French toast, cereals, warm biscuits. <gasps> I have biscuits in my freaking kitchen right now. You get the hell out of here. I couldn't eat my eggs because my eggs tasted like shit today. And I'm pretty sure it's because of COVID because everybody else's eggs tasted fine. <sighs> oh, that smells good still. Thank you, Jesus. Damn, that's sweet. <laughs> Lord. Oh, Lord, have mercy. That is good. Okay, so that is from Will Hallstrom's sugaring operation. What? Oh, my goodness. And, Will, your packaging, this, you digging, digging out the shape inside of the um, styrofoam, it worked really good because everything's in really good condition. And this doesn't feel broken at all. And that is not sarcasm. It really doesn't. <laughs> that sounds like something someone would say they're being sarcastic. Functional stoneware made by hand by Katrina in Hardwick, Vermont, www.uphillpottery.com. And I'm gonna pull it out. I'm gonna see what I want like. <gasps> Whoa, whoa. Pause, hold up, hold the phone. I almost set that box on top of my begonia. Whoa. Will, this is very nice. Like, this is too much, bro. <gasps> Look at that, check it out. It's got a drainage hole. Where's it at? Mm. Up here. It's got a drainage hole drilled into it. It has a, it's like an all-in-one pot and saucer. Autographed by the artist herself. Wow, that is beautiful. You're messing with my ASMR.
That's nice. Thank you so much, Will. Thank you to May. Thank you to Will's family sugaring operation because I'm literally about to go eat biscuits and Vermont maple syrup. Like, literally about to go do that. And thank you so much to Uphill Pottery because this is uh, one of the most beautiful pieces that I've had, uh, that I may have have in my entire collection. So it's, it's absolutely gorgeous. Very impressed. Love the glaze. I love the earthy tones. I love the turquoise. Everything about this. This is my jam. This is like, if Hotel California was a pot, a plant pot, that's, that's what it would look like. <laughs> If you like big giant begonia unboxings, be sure and give today's video a like and leave a comment down below. What was your favorite begonia that I unboxed today? And keep in mind, the more times you interact with a YouTube video, the better off it does. So just leave an emoji if you want to, because I am not a picky lady. Thank you guys so much for watching today's big giant begonia unboxing. Thank you for sticking it out with me. If you like houseplants, but begonias aren't really your thing, I get that, I understand that, but I cannot help, I can't help myself. I can't help my issues. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to become a part of our Dirty Plant Hope family, be sure and subscribe. We love you, peace out. Later taters, bye. And now I would like to give a big, dirty, nasty shout out to all of my dirty plant enthusiasts out there. And thank you guys for being so supportive and patient while my business partner has been going through some stuff at work. He's the guy who puts together my Excel spreadsheets for me. So thank you for your patience. Dirty plant enthusiasts. Nadine Ski, Seven Puggies, Cindy C, A Bear's Garden, Abby Gilbert, Ace Cadet, Alexandra Chilton, Always Propagating, Amber V, Amy Adwan, Anna Dreesen, Ashley Caraveo, Ashley Sexton, A Warm Wind, Barbara Lindbergh, Bryn, Carly Grinnell, Casey Dillon, Casey Glidewell, Cadu Colette, Chamomile Camille, Chrissy Spencer, Colleen Hatton, Courtney Martin, Crazy Plant Lady, Cuties with Cardi, Danielle Holt, Darren Heppel, David Sawyer, Diana Anderson, Eliza Haney, Ellen Louise Pascoe, Emily Kingsley, Aaron Roche, Felicia Yeager, Fenner Lamb, Fiona, Fredo79, Glass Cactus15, Goncalo Martins, Gretchen Ward, Haley Hetrick, Haley Martin, Haley Kester, Hazel Foreman, Heather Summers, Heidi Christofferson, Hells Bells, Holy Coley, House Planty Goodness, Hunter Jolly, Jamie Ellis, Jake Rowe, Jenna Maria, Jennifer Banner, Jessica Viola, Jessica D, Joe Howard, Joseph L. Simmons V, Caitlin Card, Cassandra Hines, Kathy W, Kaylee Logan, Keith Betchel, Kelly Hodgson, Kim Toby, Kimberly Moss, not Dude, Christy Bim, Kaya Hauser, Kellen Cooper, Lauren Loves Leaves, Life's a Garden, Light Owl, Lilac Moore, Lillianne Morin, Lynn Therese, Lisa Nolan, Lori Davidson Hughes, Louise H., Lulu's Leaves, Mackenzie Hogarth, Mara Baker, Maureen W., Megan Moyna, Meeks, Megan Lilly, Melissa Zielstorf, Mev H., Mia Sewell, Michaela Rags, Michelle A., Michelle Mockle, Michelle Reed, Michelle Watts, Michelle's, what's up? Monica Allison, Morgan Cluck, My Clean Leaves, Nancy Hong, Nicholas Constant, Nicole Rohrer, Nikki Toller, Ordinary Plant Girl, Pam's Pretty Plant, Peanuts Plants, Rachel Sharp, Raylene Hillhouse, Raya Shields, Rhiannon C, Ricky Mulbeck, Safia Bahadir, Sarah Santa, Saki Sassy and Succulent, Seth Miller, Showers ASMR, Sophie Botting, Sophie 95, Steph Miller, Stephanie Bazella, Stephanie Menzies, Stephanie Pietro, What's up, my Stephanies? Tanya Houtsager, Tara Christensen, Taylor Kaysen, T, Tiffany Wright, Trent Grolmus, Tyler Kersey, Vertigree Dreams, Bernie Zoo, Victoria Fonseca, and Wesley Lemontino. And now an extra dirty, extra nasty, 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 nasty shout out to all my big time monthly supporters, the Dirty Plant Hose. Danny Ryan, Abby Rupp, Alana Treese, Allie Wells, Allison Havens, Alyssa Braden, Amber Mae Fleming, 
Amber Metter, Amy Baxter, Andrew Wolf, Andrea Hewitt, Anna D, April Robinson, Ariel Roots, Arlisa B, Ashley Williams, Aubrey Puff, Botanicas, Carly Knight, Caitlin Tess, San Antonio Botsis, Chelsea Clifton, Christina Kuntz, Christy Stewart, Sierra Jones, Colin F, Danny Sprague, Deanne Yu Santos, Darylin, Denise Tomer, Diana Warner, Donna, Emily Cephalu, Emily Forhey, Emma LaCroix, Emma Wiley, Florence Ramirez, Forever Hopeful Plants, Katie, Gab, Gina the Great, Haley Ebb, Haley Stanley, Heather Lamb, Heather Worrell, Hello Houseplants, Houseplant Heather, Jasmine Renee, Jedi KCC, Jen DeReha, Jennifer Rouse, Jenny Vanderbilt, Jessica Stanford, Jill Cunningham, Caitlin Guavi, Chris, uh, Catherine Sproles, Kelly Rice, Kelp, Kristen Williams, Christy D, Cristalia B, Lauren, Lindsay Daniel, Maggie Quarter, Mary Boots, Mark Straw, Megan Baker, Megan Earls, Megan Gowdy, Melissa Hartog, Mel's Planty Plants, Michelle G, Michaela Kirby, Morena, Natural State Ashley, Nicholas Caruso, Nikki Grilly, Odd Avocado Tree, Olivia Wise, Oops I Sold My Planties, Paul Zang, Pinky from Hot Farms, Plant Princess, Plantastica, Simonetta, QR, Reagan Cornelius, Rianne Chuckasang, Rico9383, Riley Kylie Elizabeth, Root and Leaf, Sammy Joe Ruby, Sarah Schwartz, Sarah J, Sarah Jones, Sleazy Wednesday One, Spotted Oreo Ten, Stacy Anderson, Tammy Carroll, Tara Peterson, Terrace Plants, Tropics in the Midwest, The Fiber Circus, The Hatter's Badness, The Plants Channel, The Plants Meow, The Turtle, Tracy Buzzle, Praise Plants, Tyler Frakes, Valerie Titus, Whitney Sales, Wicked Witch, Roxy, Will H, Winter Rose, and Yvonne Smith. Thank you guys so, so much for all of your continued support. I don't even know what to say at this point. I guess we're family at this point. I don't know. Are you guys coming over for Thanksgiving this year? <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. No word on the land just yet. If I knew something, you guys would know something. And we will be back to podcasting next Sunday. I love you guys. Keep your head up. Remember your ABCs. Always be cute. Love you guys. Bye.